In Beirut, Carlos Ghosn faced the cameras for the first time since his daring escape from Japanese justice. Today is a very important day for me. One, that I have looked forward to every single day for more than 400 days since I was brutally taken from my world as I knew it. During a press conference lasting almost two and a half hours, Ghosn claimed to have been the victim of a conspiracy by those who were against his plans to merge Nissan and Renault. He pointed fingers at Nissan executives, Tokyo prosecutors and elements within the Japanese state. I can talk about what happens in the government of Japan. I can give you names, I know them. But I am in Lebanon, I respect Lebanon, and I respect the hospitality that has extend, been extended to me by the authorities in Lebanon. And in no way I want to do anything or say anything that would make their task more difficult. Gaon described his decision to flee Japan inside this musical equipment box as the most difficult choice of his life. New footage has emerged apparently showing him being transferred between private jets at Istanbul airport. Back in Tokyo, prosecutors raided the offices of Gon's lawyer on Wednesday. Junichiro Hironaka says he was as surprised as anyone by his client's escape from Japan. Now that he's out of the country, Carlos Gon has shown he has no intention of keeping quiet about why he left and who he believes is to blame.